This is the code in action video for chapter 2. In chapter 2, we made our first steps with Node.js, MongoDB and Docker. We created a Docker container for a MongoDB database, connected to it, created our first Node.js scripts. So now let's recap what we've learned here. So first of all, I have already opened the chapter 2 folder. To learn how to do so, check out the code in action video for chapter 1. Now I'm just going to open a new terminal here and run git init and then npm install to install all the dependencies. Now we are ready to run our scripts. So in this chapter, we created a few backend scripts. These are all in the backend folder. And our first script that we created is hello world chess, where we just print the message saying hello no chess world. And to run this, we just type into the terminal node and then the path to the file. So as we can see, it's printing it fine. So Node.js is working. The next script we created Node uses the Node.fs library to read and write files. So here we are writing some data to a users.json file and then reading from that same file again and printing out the result. So let's run it. As we can see, it has successfully read from the file. And if we look at the file, we can see that the data is stored in there. The next script we created is a simple web server using node HTTP. And here we just create a server and respond to each request with a plain text, hello HTTP world. So let's start this server now. And we can see that it's listening on localhost 3000. So to open that command, click on the URL or just copy it and paste it into your browser. So here I have it open in my browser and you can see that it is printing hello HTTP world. So it's working successfully. Next, we extended our server to read from the users JSON file and print that as an application JSON response. First, we have to close the already running server. We can do this by pressing command and C. Now the server is closed and now we can run the next server. And again, it's listening on the same URL. So we open that. And as we can see, it's printing out the JSON from the file. Now let's close this server. As a next step, we created a Docker container for our MongoDB server. So for that, go to Docker desktop and just make sure that the DB server container is running. So here it's not running yet. So I'm going to press start. And now it's green and the database container is running. So now we can connect to our database. The first way we connected to our database was using the Mongo shell. So for that, we type in Mongo SH and then the URI to our database and specify the database name. In this case, we specify chapter two. So now we are connected to the database and we can now, for example, query the users collection. And as you can see, it's returning all the documents we stored in this chapter. Alternatively, we can use the MongoDB VS Code extension to connect to our database. For that, click on the leaf icon in the left sidebar to open the MongoDB extension. And then click on the database here to connect to it. And then select one of the databases, in this case, chapter two. And here we can see the users collection and that it has three documents. And if we click on one of them, we can see that it's returning the document here. So for our last backend script in this chapter, we created a script that connects to the MongoDB server and then runs an HTTP server and returns the users collection to uh, via JSON, via JSON response. To run this script, we first need to close out the Mongo shell here. We can do this by pressing command C twice. And now we can run this script. And as you can see, it's successfully connected to the database and also started an HTTP server again. So now we can open this in our browser. And as we can see, it's returning the JSON with all the documents we created in this chapter. So in this chapter, we successfully created our first backend services using Node.js and we learned how to use MongoDB and Docker to create a database server 
and how to interface with it using the Mongo shell. And finally, we put together what we've learned and created a Node.js web server that returns documents from our MongoDB database.